Behind me, I have 12 red light therapy panels. I'm gonna use my expensive spectrometer to determine which panel puts out the most watts. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Alex here from alexfigures.com and today I am finding what red light therapy body panel is the most powerful. Welcome to round two of the 2021 red light therapy body panel comparison series. Behind me, I have 12 red light therapy panels. Over the next few days or few videos, I am going to be testing all of these panels and comparing them to find out the best overall panel. But today we're looking at power or more uh, appropriately, irradiance. Now I have a spectrometer here. This is, uh, this cost me a few thousand dollars. What it does is it detects light intensity, also known as irradiance. And it detects it from a range of 300 nanometers right through to 1050. Now all of these panels emit wavelengths within that range. Uh, most of them at your 660 and 850, some a little bit higher or lower than those. So this meter is perfect for this job. I've also used this meter to measure radiance figures and these figures have matched very closely with independent professional laboratory testing. So pretty much we know that what I'm using there is, is pretty good. And hey, the main thing is we're gonna be able to compare all these panels as I have them right here behind me. So what exactly are we measuring? Well, I'm gonna take three metrics here. I'm looking at peak power, total peak power, uh, both near infrared and red light combined. That's the highest reading I can get on the meter. I'm just gonna move around and, and find the highest reading. We're gonna look at the average irradiance figure over nine points. I'm gonna take three down the side, one, two, and three. Three down the other side, four, five, six, and then three in the middle, seven, eight, nine. Then I'm gonna average all of that out. Finally, we're gonna get a total wattage output score. Now this is a score that I've developed. Now what I do is I take that average of nine readings, uh, irradiance figure, then I measure the surface area of the LEDs. So width across and then the height down. So then we have an area and an irradiance figure. I simply then multiply these figures together and we get a wattage output. So this could be anything from say 70 watts to 100 watts or even higher. That then tells me this particular panel approximately is putting out that much wattage of energy. And we know that energy is the good therapeutic red light and the infrared light that we're all looking for. I know in my 2019 comparison, I used the peak power readings. The problem with that is you can get a really high peak, but the rest of the panel can be pretty pretty low. And I have actually seen that. So that's, that's the downside with peak. And you might get a concentration of light in the center, for instance, but not around the rest of the panel. So there's a downside there. Then you may be thinking, well, why not use the average and the average of nine? And that is a good, that is a good question. And I seriously considered that. The reason why I use total wattage output instead is firstly, it utilizes that average of nine figure, but secondly, then it factors in the size of the panel. Because otherwise I could get a very small panel that's only got, you know, it's a couple inches high and that average of nine may be, may be really good, but it doesn't reflect the total power output of a much larger panel, right? What I'm gonna do is we're gonna rank all of these panels now from lowest performance to highest performance. When I go through the ranking, I will also mention the peak power and the average of nine for your reference. Again though, the best place to go is to have a look at that red light therapy data sheet that I have a link to below, and you can pull all this data up, or uh, head over to alexfergus.com and we'll package all this information from this body comparison video series into a nice blog so you'll you'll be able to see all the tables on there as well okay so i've went and done all the testing for these panels and i have the full rankings here in front of me in last place we have the jimber red reboot this had a total wattage power of 43.5 that is watts and a peak power of 50.1 in 11th place we had the blue block hive max that had a total wattage output of 46.5 watts and a peak power of 41.1 milliwatts over centimeter squared. In 10th place, we have the Red Light Rising Advantage 900. This had a wattage output of 57.8 and a peak power of 65.6. In ninth place, we have the Rug Pro. This had a total wattage output of 58.5 and a peak power of 69.1 milliwatts over centimeter squared. 
In eighth place, we have the Red Rush 720 Classic. This put out 70 watts and had a peak power of 60.1 milliwatts. In seventh place, we have the Saito LED Triplex. Now this had 78.6 watts with a peak power of 64.6 milliwatts. In sixth place, we have the Solbasium Optics 180. Total wattage was 82.7, peak power 74.1. So you can see now we're getting quite a higher radiance figure. 74.1 milliwatts over centimeter squared. That's the first panel so far that's been in the 70s. Um, there were quite a few in the 60s there and a couple in the 50s and 40s. Fifth place, we have the Juve Solo 3.0. This was actually very close to the Solbasium Optics, though it had a slightly higher total wattage output with a figure of 84.9. Its peak power was pretty much bang on the Optics 180 though, and that figure was 74.2. In fourth place, we have the Infrareddy Max. Now this had a whopping wattage output of 97.5, a big jump up on, on the Juve. So you can see these top four players are all high performers when it comes to power output. The peak power though was only 76.8. I say only, it's still higher than all the rest so far, but it was only a little bit higher than the Juve. What this means though, is the larger panel with the more LEDs is putting out a lot more wattage compared to the smaller Juve, which only has 150 LEDs. We're in the top three now, so I'll continue working my way up. I'm also gonna share one other reading now we're in the top three, and that's gonna be the irradiance figure after averaging out the nine points. In third place, we have the 2019 winner, the Biomax 600. This had a total wattage output of 101.2. To put that in perspective, remember the Jimbered reboot at the bottom only had a total wattage output of 43. So it's well over double that. The peak power radiance here was a crazy 92.9 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Uh, but 92.9 is, is massive, like that's huge. So you may be thinking, well, if that's the highest I've ever tested, why is it not ranking number one? Remember, we're looking at total wattage output. I should also mention the average of nine points for this panel was 71.7. So that just shows there's a big discrepancy between the highest point and then the average reading. But that's pretty standard for all panels. It's not specific to the uh, Platinum. I'm just telling you that that peak reading is you know, where you find a really sweet spot on the panel and you get a ton of energy. In second place, we have the Lightpath LED Large Multi-Waved Pulse Panel. This had a total wattage output of 120 watts, 120.3 to, to be precise. The peak power reading for this panel was 72.4 milliwatts over centimeter squared. The reason why it's got such a larger total wattage output is because of the size of the panel. It's just a bigger panel, isn't it? So you're getting more LEDs in a larger treatment area. Now you may be thinking, well, bigger is always gonna be better, right? And that is true when it comes to power, but remember we're trying to find the best overall body panel in this series. So that looks at things such as price, hotspot, how well that light has been delivered, ease of use, all sorts of metrics. It's not necessarily bigger is always better, otherwise you'd have a giant wall hanging panel winning these awards, but it doesn't work that way. And also remember this is for the body panels, any panels from 150 through to 300 LEDs. So in first place, that leaves, the Mito Red Mito Pro 1500. This came out with a whopping 136 watts, which is massive. So for instance, we only had three panels above 100 watts. The Biomax at 101, the Light Path at 120, and then the Mito Pro at 136. So that's, that's it's way up there. Now the peak power on this was also really good, 88.2. Remember the highest I've ever tested was the Biomax 600 at 92.9. So that's up there, it's very, very close. In fact, it's the second highest I've ever tested to date. The average over nine was 76.4. So that's higher than the Biomax, hence why you're getting a much larger wattage output. You're getting a higher average over nine and then you're also getting a larger panel. The Mito Pro 1500, based on my testing in 2021, is the red light therapy body panel that puts out the most power. Now, if you have been following my work, you may be thinking, hey Alex, what about the Biomax 900? That's slightly larger. That may give the Mito Red, Mito Pro 1500 a run for the money. Now, that's a very good question. Now, to be honest, I thought long and hard about whether the 600 or the Biomax 900 should be in this, in this comparison series. 
because I only take one panel from each company, otherwise I'd literally have about 30 or 40 panels hanging on the wall here and would be here for weeks. Now there were a couple of reasons why I went with the 600 over the 900. Firstly, the 600 won the 2019 comparison series. It, it came out as the best overall panel for, for that year out of all the panels I tested. So it makes sense that I give this panel another crack, especially now that it's been updated and see if it can defend its title. The second reason is because the Biomax 900, now remember the 900 is a wider panel, same height, it's just wider. The Biomax 900 doesn't have the same level of power intensity as the 600. What I'm saying is the 600 actually puts out more power. Now I was told this from the guys from Platinum LED and they said it was something to do with a technical uh, engineering issue. And I've tested the 900 that I have as well and they're right. This is putting out a much higher irradiance. Like I said, the highest ever peak irradiance I've ever seen was from this panel. And second to that was this panel. I don't have the uh, 900 numbers in front of me right now. It would still be up there. It definitely was a good reading, but it wasn't as amazing as this. So if you're thinking, ah, oh, the 600 or the Biomax 900, the 900 may have won this round. I don't think it would have. I think this is a better performing panel in terms of purely power output. But the Mito Red Pro 1500 is by far the best panel out of all of these panels. So I know it gets a little bit tricky, but in a nutshell, if you want a red light therapy body panel that's going to give you the most energy, the most therapeutic red light, and by red light I also mean the infrared light, then the Mito Pro 1500 is your winner. But the Biomax 600, the Light Path LED, even the Infrared Max are all putting out 100 watts or thereabouts or higher. They're all exceptionally high powered panels. To put this in perspective, most of the panels that I'm testing this year are well higher than the top panels I was testing in 2019. The panels I'm offering today in 2021 have immensely improved from the panels from 2019. And we knew, and myself included, had amazing results with panels that I purchased back in 2017. So don't get too caught up in all the, the minuscule uh, few watts here and there. Pretty much all of these panels are gonna put out enough power for you to get the benefits. It just comes down to which panel is the best for your goal? Which panel is the best for your budget? Which panel is the easiest to use? Which panel has the best warranty? And that's why I'm doing this 2021 body panel comparison. To get as much information as possible, share it with you so you can make an informed decision. Remember though, all these panels are gonna work. It's just which one's best for you. Okay, so now we have the rankings. I give each panel a score based on their position. Now that we've had two rounds, we can add these scores up and see who's leading the pack as we work through 10 rounds to determine who has the best red light therapy panel for 2021. Okay, so we can see the updated standings after two rounds now, and uh, Biomax is out on top, neck and neck with the infrared, infrared Max 2021 version. So both of them are on 20 points. The Red Rush, the old school Red Rush from a few years ago is in third place with 17 points. And the Mito Pro 1500, the beast that just came out number one uh, in this round, it has skyrocketed up to fourth position. Light Path LED, and the large multi panel is in close position. The Light Path LED large multi wave panel and the Solbasium Optics 180 are on fifth equal on 14 points. And then we've got uh, the rest of the pack trailing behind them. It's still, we're so early in the piece, it's still anyone's game. Though uh, the two bottom players, Jimbo Red Reboot on nine points and Red Light Rising Advantage 900 are dropping off. Uh, well, I mean, like I said, it's still early in the day. So let's, uh, let's see how we go with the Knicks. Be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'll be releasing another eight more videos like this where I'm testing these panels over all sorts of metrics. By the way, if you wanted to buy any of these panels, or you want to learn more about them, I've reviewed a lot of them here on my YouTube channel, but I also put links direct to their website below. If you do decide to buy any of these panels, be sure to use discount code ALEX. You'll save anything from $25 through to 15% off that panel. I really appreciate the support. If you've enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video.